Uh, something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Open the poison chest. I need the strongest drink you have. You've come to the wrong place. The brewery is currently out of commission. Besides, all those hipsters want are virgin cocktails. Everything's going down the toilet. The world is getting crazier and crazier. Lefties is serving non-alcoholic drinks in the last bastion of excessive enjoyment. Here, try one of those things. Yeah. If there was at least some virgin in it. See you later, Lefty. Now it's literally a dress cocktail. to do what pipes are supposed to do when they do what they do. Yes! Right on the first try. Just like sex. Well, usually. A minute! I'm doing my show! Hey, Aaron. What's up? Hey, I heard something that might interest you. Yes? You know Hell's Pawn, right? The nightclub? Sure, but I've never been there. We could change that. They're looking for an act with that something special. You're something special. Oh! <laughs> but they would need a demonstration of your skills as soon as possible. Crap. I can't go now. It's time for my show. Skip the show. This is your chance. No way. I keep my fans satisfied. Otherwise, I'll lose them. Then we'll tape you. On what? VHS, 2000, Betamax. Are you having a stroke? Should I call a doctor? What I mean is, can't you record your show? I don't know how to do that. I always just stream. Well, I need a recording of you. That will have to wait. My fans come first. Oh, nothing. Is that the cunning linguist by Montgomery Clitheroe? <gasps> How did you know this was one of my absolute favorite books? Unbelievable! You must have looked in every antiquarian bookstore in town. I stole it from a hipster bar. Huh. They would never appreciate a work of art like this. Hey, I need those for my strawberry bush. I I'm, I'm only borrowing them for a second. Snip. So, no one's filming Aaron anymore. Well, except for herself, but the camera fell down. Would you please leave my bush trimmer here? Situation report. Operation Brewery completed. That's good news. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. I mean, that's kind of technical. However, I had to change the recipe. They said the old barbarian brew gave some people diarrhea. No way! Here's a recipe. These are the things I need. Larry, it'd be great if you could bring me the ingredients for the new and improved barbarian brew. I'll see what I can dig up. Oh, and Larry, if you want, you're welcome to use the brewery while it's out of operation. 
I automated everything. You just throw in the ingredients, and I can tap the drink in here. Uh, I might get back to you on that. Something completely natural with a vitalizing effect. Yeah, that should work. Thanks, Larry. The ingredients I'm supposed to get for Lefty. Something to enhance the beer's taste and aroma. Something that'll turn the beer high octane. Something completely natural with a vitalizing effect. a whole new taste. Are you ready to go see Chevy? Fine. I'll meet you there. Hmm. I think the camera fell in here. Your buddy there has already confessed to everything. He's lucky I didn't tear him apart. You know, I'm a huge Quiff fan. Actually, I just wanted the guitar to practice the Boob Hymian Rapturdy solo. But I'll never get that anyway. I believe you. You can have guitar. But I want my investment back, even if guitar is stolen. Ah. <coughs> I, uh, don't have enough money. Duh. That's pretty plain to see. I mean, you don't just walk around like that of your own free will. You know what? Just get me something that has to do with Queef. Something for my collection. Then you can have guitar. I'll come back later. Now I finally hung up all of the posters. I should tell Lama. Happy now? I'm going back to that hipster joint. That's the Shroud of Urin. Unbelievable. How did you get it? I have my sources. That's what it looks like. Thanks. Take guitar. And if there is anything else I can do for you, just let me know. W will you let me in the club? Let me think for a second. No. Not that. Professional ethics. Chevy, I have something for you. Check this out. Hmm. Not bad. She's got talent. Ah. Wow. Ah. Did you record this without her knowledge? Does that matter nowadays? Hey, how petty. Well... Oh, forget it. That's amazing. She's got the job. But only on probation. Just getting naked is not enough for our clientele. I need something extraordinary for VIP area. Something with flair and intelligence. She can perform later, but she still has to offer extraordinary element in her show. If she can do that, she'll have permanent place in VIP area. I'll talk to her again. I'm sure Aaron will have a good idea. A minute, 
I'm doing my show. Hey, Aaron. What's up? Aaron, I have great news. Well, mostly anyways. Yes? The people at Hell's Pond think you're awesome. They do? That's incredible. But they think you should offer something else. Uh, something that separates you from the crowd. That makes you special. Ooh, like what? You could wrestle a python. Ooh, I can't stand those long, slimy things. That's what she said. It's hopeless, Larry. I'll just give up stripping and devote myself to my other great passion, literature. I always used to get kicked out of poetry slams because I was showing too much skin. Hmm. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's so obvious. Maybe something with ping pong balls. Uh, okay, I guess we weren't thinking the same thing. No, Larry. I can combine literature and stripping. Uh, sure, that works too. Strip tease and readings from my favorite books. And since you already brought me my favorite book, I can read from that. You earned yourself a top rating on Timber. That was the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. And now, I think it's time you got your private show. Thank you, Larry. I'll see you later at Hell's Pond for my show. Pi, that must be a quantum leap for the timber points. Well, well? You have 19 timber points. I assume that's rounded down. No, rounded up. In fact, your score is 18.708. All right, all right. Hey, can you send Faith a message to make room on her schedule? I can't contact her. No one can. She'll hear from me soon enough. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. What's up? I put up all the posters. Great. Thanks a lot. So, do we want to get down to the sex now? <laughs> Looks like I really got you hot to try. Be patient a little longer until I have the gig behind me. When are you gonna go out with me? Be patient a little longer. After my concerts, I always feel the need to have a good time. Believe me, it's worth it. I'm really fired up and I could use a See you in a bit. You found it! Without it, the gig would have been history. Thanks, Larry. I think everything's ready for your concert now. Posters are hung and the guitar is ready to go. Not quite. To make sure my stage show really rocks, I need one more thing. Explosions? Nah, something simple but very effective. Artificial smoke. Think you can find a smoke machine? Of course. They're all over the place. Hmm, somewhat 
unconventional smoke machine. But hey, it'll be perfect for the show. Yeah, that'll really get people going. Thanks, Larry. I think everything's go for the concert now. Hang on to your polyester panties, Larry. It's time to rock. Lemma, that was amazing. I've said a lot of people rock over the years, but you are definitely the real deal. Thanks, but to be honest, it's not just me. I added a few, uh, let's say, stimulating substances to the smoke machine. Looks like it worked. You could say that. So, is it time for some sex now? I already gave you the highest score on Timber. But our date's not over yet. The after show party will take place later at Hell's Pond. If you still want to join me for a little fun, I'll see you there. Be there, or I'll grab some other guy. I'll be there. Hi? I can tell from your expectant tone of voice that you want to know how many timber points you have. We're such a good team. That's what I'm programmed to do. Why can't all women be as cooperative as you? Before you spit out any more of those lines that make my circuits view, it's 26 points. Oh. Well, I do like a challenge. What the... Why am I getting a timber notification? Hot and trendy. Larry Laffer. I can't believe it. What's the matter? It's that Larry guy. If only I hadn't encouraged him. Who? That pathetic joker in the white suit. He really thinks I'd want to go on a date with him if he had enough timber points. Then we delete his account. No, that would be noticeable. But we have to make sure that he never gets near the new Pyphone ever again. He really confused the new AI. Then take care of it. Of course. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. Do you want? I'll come back later. Hey, uh, Chevy, can I go in now? Let's see. Yeah, your timber score's fine. Welcome to the circle of sexy people. And uh, thanks again for referring Erin to us. She's rocking VIP area. Larry! There you are. Hey, Dick. Are you ready for our little date in the dark room? Date? You wanted to see me dance. I want to see how you move your body. You just watch me shake it out there. I can hardly wait. Huh. Hey, can I have the photo now? Don't be so impatient, sweetie. I'm ready for anything. That's what I want to hear. I'll see you later in the dark room, Larry. Wait there for me. Bring me a drink. Naked, not fur. Hmm. Nothing's happening. Hi, I'm Larry. What's your name? Anu. Anu? Anu Singh. What kind of thing? Oh. Hell's Pawn? Ugh. More like Smell's Pawn. Normally, I wouldn't be here either. 
two people meet in a nightclub without a timber date. The one says, Leave me alone. No. He says, What's up? No, I mean, leave me alone. Ah, okay. Step aside, please. I have to keep an eye on the entrance to the VIP area. The only way in is with a VIP ticket. I could also just tell you when I go in. I don't care about you, but BJ often drops by here. Why are you so interested in him? Ugh, I've already said too much. Leave, please. So, how's it going? The gig was a huge success. It really got me all worked up, if you know what I mean. I know all too well. Uh, maybe we should just uh, find somewhere quieter? You're right. I'll head on into the VIP area. How do I get in? The only way in is with a ticket. So where can I get one of those tickets? Maybe I am as best to suit Larry. Should we head into the VIP area now, Lance? I really need some shocking new material for my Instacraft stories. For user engagement. Chill, Becky. I wanna, uh, watch the people here a little longer. Scanning the ladies. Uh-huh. I have a date in the VIP area with two ladies. Uh-huh. I'm meeting Dick here. What? Dick? He... He's with you now? What do you care? Now let's go to the VIP area instead. That weird bastard's looking at me like he wants to poison me again. Uh, let's start over. What exactly are you doing with Dick? We both want to go hit the dark room. Oh. Hey, what do you care about that guy? I mean, you're out on a date with me. And could you flex your muscles like that again? That light makes my contouring look mega good. And then if you maybe like... Becky, that's enough. I didn't go on a date with you to be your human handbag. But to make Dick think I was doing fine. <sighs> OMG. I totally can't handle this. Oh, then I'll just find myself some other sexy, complicated guy with problems. I mean, the city's full of them. I don't need that stupid VIP room ticket anymore either. I'm sorry if I screwed up your date. Oh, I'm not interested in her anyway. Wait a minute. Now I get it. Bobby Ewing's death was just a dream. Who? Dick hit on me. He thinks I'm gay too. And I have a date with him in the dark room. You lucky bastard. Well, at least I have a date with Lemma and Aaron too. I guess I'll just have to play it by feel. In the dark room of all places. Oh, thank you very much, Becky. Permit me, Larry Laffer, VIP. Larry, you missed Aaron's show. She's a total babe, right? Rocks the pole the way I rock the mic. I'd sure love to meet her. Who cares about Aaron? As long as we can get down with one another. Don't be like that, Larry. I mean, if Aaron and I hit it off, you might just get to kill two birds with one stone. Birds? They don't even have feathers here, never mind chickens. Okay. I guess I need to make this very clear. I want to have a threesome. 
And if you have to ask if you're one of the three, then the answer is no. Oh, I'm in. Who knows, Larry? Maybe this time with Aaron and me will be the best night of your life. 